You know, Mark Thiessen, in terms of the media watch on all of this, you know, the past few days, and we've played the sound bites here, uh, the ladies on The View have been cackling with in excitement, you know, saying, oh, are they going to throw a big chain around Trump Tower and just haul it, you know, off of its foundation and take it away? And I noticed this morning when this started coming out, you know, there were some long faces across some places in the media because this morning, Mark, they were all excited about what was to come. And I don't think they got what they were thinking they were going to get. Well, I think they ought to be relieved. Because if if they, this judgment had not been lowered and Trump couldn't meet it, and the, the, if you want to make sure that Donald Trump is elected president of the United mm -hmm. States, go let Letitia James walk up to Trump Tower and stamp an eviction notice on the on the, on the mm -hmm. side of that building and seize it. Uh, I mean, even people who don't elect, don't support Donald Trump would see that as an outrage. And the fact that this was lowered from 450 from 454 to 175, uh, 454 would have been outrageous. 175 is outrageous. Mm -hmm. This process prosecution should have never happened. He's being prosecuted for, as you pointed out, in a victimless crime. The crime he's guilty of is running for president. None of this would be happening if Donald Trump wasn't running for president. They've, they've issued 91 indictments against Donald Trump. Charles Manson faced 10. OK, they've got, they're, they're, they've got multiple cases trying to bankrupt him. They're trying to use the 14th Amendment to kick him off of off of the ballot. I've never seen such collusion between liber the left on the on the federal, state and local level working together in concert to destroy a man. And what they're doing is they're gar they guarantee that he's going to be the nominee because they think he's going to be easier to beat. Well, guess what? Every single poll today shows him winning. So they're going to regret what they're doing uh, mm -hmm. come November. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's looks like a classic case in many ways politically of, you know, be careful what you ask for um, because you might get yeah. it. And I, and I think that the um, analogy that you make is apt when it comes to Charles Manson. I, I always think about and, and you're right. One hundred and seventy five million dollars is still what he has to come up with in 10 days for a victimless crime. And I think about O.J. Simpson in, in the civil trial, the deaths of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman, deaths of two people in the civil trial. Thirty million dollars, which I'm sure never got. I, I, I think yep. I'm, I'm pretty safe ground saying they didn't get paid uh, from OJ uh, to the families. But.